Hi boys and girls, Miss Gardner again. Welcome to the front of my house. We are ready for part two of our oobleck project. So you're going to need your bag of oobleck and one raw egg, okay? So we're gonna get started. Um, just for the sake of wasting food and I mean, you're more than welcome to do this at home, but please ask mom and dad first but I will do it here on the video so that you can see. So if we were in a classroom, I would definitely have you stop and make some predictions. So one thing I'd like you to do maybe is put a pause on the video, make your predictions, and then come back to the video. So we wanna see if oobleck can protect an egg from falling. Now, oobleck was made with water and cornstarch and, um, so we're gonna try both of those. We know that just a regular egg, a regular egg by itself in a bag, if I'm dropping it from a height, we know that it is going to make your predictions. Pause the video. Okay, got your prediction ready? And not a pretty sight. Definitely not protected. Okay, so let's try our egg with just water. Ready? Okay, oh, make your prediction. And let's try it. No, not much better. Seemed to be a little bit better. It's not quite as shattered as the other one. Okay, okay. And now let's try cornstarch. What do you think? Our egg is in there. Okay, make your prediction. And let's see. No, nope, you can see the yolk. Look at that, it's broken. Okay, now, we're gonna, here's our bag of oobleck. I'm gonna put an egg inside. Okay, I'm gonna drop it right inside. I am going to add a second bag and I'll tell you why because I've been practicing just to make sure I did it right for you and honestly well without giving too much away my Ziploc bag is not as strong as it should be so I'm going to put it in two big bags just for protection for, of the Ziploc. Ziploc bag kind of busted on me last time. Okay so there's my oobleck, there's my egg. Make your prediction. Do you think the egg is gonna go splat? Or what do you think might happen? Okay, here we go. Didn't sound good, but let's take a look. Oh, it did crack. Hmm. Now that might happen, but let's try it again for the sake of science. Add it to a second bag. Okay. I'm sure it's it's in there. Okay. Probably thinking it's gonna break again, but let's give it a shot. Okay. This time, better results. No cracks, nothing. Perfect. Okay. So, just for the sake of, well, we got lucky, Miss Gardner. Let's try it again. Perfect, not a scratch on it, not a crack. Second drop. Should we go for a third? Or should I leave that up to you? I'm gonna leave that up to you. 
So your challenge is to go ahead and make your oobleck and do the egg drop challenge. Now, Cooper wanted to stand on the roof. Of course, I won't let him, but maybe there's some things you could try. Maybe get a tall ladder and check and see how much force the oobleck will take. So that's the other science piece of it. What is happening? What's the science behind the oobleck? Why is the oobleck protecting the egg? So for my scientists out there, post me an answer, post me a response. We're working on on the web page for you to be able to click on the link on the web page and then you can give me your responses. And even, again, we're still working on it, so I'm not sure if it'll be ready by the time we post this, but working on it so that you can send me a video of your experiments, of you actually trying some of these experiments. And some of the most appropriate and better ones, I will definitely see if we can post them on the website right along with my videos. Okay, so good luck, happy science, and till next time, bye.